Welcome back to the Brennick Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Orville and we are just going to do a real quick update. I only have a few minutes, so here we go. The Brennick Channel is back and today we're talking about Lake Orville as it's really getting hot and dry out there. One has to wonder what in the heck are they still doing down on the spillway? How long is this construction going to continue to last? It's been going on for quite a while. And to be quite frank, I mean, why do they got to be down in that spillway? One wonders. They're not opening it up to drain it out. And they're not, they're not fixing the seals, as you can clearly see here. There's the gates continue to leak. And like one subscriber said, if they wanted to fix the seals, they would just drain it down and fix the seals. But they're not doing that. They only have so much time as it's already August 1st. It only gives them three more months till November 1st. So they have to do something soon. The level is dropping quite nice as it is currently at 870.83 feet of 900 feet. And it's 29 feet below full pool of 900 feet. 901 to the top. And it's dropped one foot since yesterday. Now, I understand that they're dropping the lake, but I think they have to get it down below 850, so they got another 20 more foot to go. But if they're dropping it a foot a day, you're talking about the next 20 days, it could possibly happen. And I assume the majority of the water is going down the Hyatt power plant, which, not all of it, because some of it's still leaking out the gates. Now, they baffle me because they want to fill it up, but yeah, they didn't really fill it all the way up. They filled it close to being up, but they didn't fill it all the way up. But before that, they wanted to keep it at 850. And then before that, they wanted to keep it to 890, and then 894, and then we'll see. And then nothing ever happened. So it's a mystery to everyone. Except for the people in charge, I suppose. But they constantly move the goalpost as the game goes on, which is not fair to the public who wants to know. But proclaiming that the spillway was completely done, they opened it up, and then they never, ever enlightened the public back to any other acknowledgement of what was really going on out there. It's just baffling to everybody. I think a lot of people have a lot of questions and are wondering why the construction in the spillway continues and what's up with all the scaffolding up there. But we may never know, and that's about all I have for today. You guys please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Brennick Channel. Much love, peace, God bless everybody.